Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we are going to look at the Fulton's October deck from Dan and Dave. Uh, this deck was uh, produced through Dan and Dave, the Buck Twins. Uh, it was designed by Brad Fulton and if you're familiar with Dan and Dave you know that Brad Fulton has done a couple of other decks for them. Uh, and the illustrations on this were done by a gentleman named Stephen Noble. Um, so Brad Fulton, he's returning from another, with another deck, uh, kind of back from the dead, as it were. And it's just a really cute uh, homage to October, Halloween, spooks and spirits, and that kind of thing. Um, it was emphasized strongly that this was the first edition that they would sell out um, back in 2013, and they have sold out. It almost makes you wonder if they'll release a second edition next October and going forward? I don't know. I guess it'll depend on how well they thought these cards sold and whether there's a strong demand for it. But as of right now, on Dan and Dave's website, they are sold out. If you would like a copy of this deck, if you would still like to purchase this deck, you can buy an uncut sheet from Dan and Dave and they will give you a deck and that is a $30 price tag. Uh, just to let you look at the tuck case a little bit, it does say Fulton's October and playing cards on the front. The front and back of the tuck are identical. The top says playing cards. At the bottom, there's some ad copy about Dan and Dave. And then on the sides, there's some handwriting there. Um, one side it says designed by Brad Fulton, illustrated by Stephen Noble. And on the other side, it says the D&D &D playing cards in Hollywood, California. One more thing about the tuck case, and I will show you this in a close-up if I can. Uh, the two inside flaps here have a little skull. But then if you look inside, uh, there's another uh, drawing. Inside there, but you can see, there's artwork all the way down deep inside the box. And if you unfold it, it makes a little picture. So that's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. The back design of this is kind of like a mirrored image. Uh, it's a skull resting in sort of a coffin-shaped uh, shape. <laughs> there's a moon in the center of that, which kind of mirrors the bicycle uh, 808s, kind of, with the triptych circles. Uh, there's bats flying around in there, and then at the top and the bottom, there's a flower with an F in there for Fulton. And then there's a jogging skeleton in these corners, and a jogging pumpkin-shaped gentleman in these corners. And the rest of this is kind of like bats and wrought iron gate, which kind of emphasizes more the, the Halloween, October uh, look of the deck. With this deck, you're going to get two extra cards. You're going to get an ad card about uh, the Fulton deck itself and who it was designed by, and then you're going to get a Dan and Dave ad card. With this deck, you're also going to get two identical jokers. Uh, in the picture, it seems to be some sort of a dancing skeleton, but he's losing body parts. So he's losing a hand, his head, and maybe his neck, or I don't know, one other random bone is uh, floating away. And with this deck, you're going to get an original Ace of Spades. It's two skeletons back to back, uh, forming the shape of an ace. Uh, it's their heads, their uh, spine and rib cage, and then their feet down at the bottom. And then it does say D&D and Playing Card Company. Of course, the courts are original to this deck, but the courts were one of the things that I was a little bit disappointed with. Uh, not so much the art uh, that Stephen Noble designed. Um, you do get an original jack, uh, jack and original queen and king. However, these courts repeat themselves through the entire deck. So every single uh, court in the suits are identical. So you don't get original courts for each suit. You get the same set. Albeit, you do get an original king of hearts. So this deck does have a traditional suicide king. But like I said, this is the only other court that has original artwork. I just wanted to steal the camera real quick. And just so that you could see a little more closely what some of these cards look like. And there's the difference between the two uh, different types of kings. The king of hearts is the only king in the deck that looks like that. And just give you the opportunity to use your own camera controls and pause or slow down and take a closer look. Well, that's it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. Also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Hey, and a big shout out to Sky for giving me this deck for my birthday. Those of you who knew I had a birthday, uh, Sky was the only one to send me a gift. And so she uh, knew that I didn't have this deck, which was uh, brilliant and on her part. And for her to be able to get me a deck of cards that's out of print, absolutely awesome. So thank you, Sky.